Alrighty guys, welcome back to Star Wars Review. Today I'm going to be doing a video a bit different. Um, it's a news video, but it's based on LEGO Star Wars uh, sets and whatnot. Which the entirety of the uh, 2020 um, summer, uh, like late summer, early fall uh, wave, has been officially revealed. Um, so yeah, they were leaked a few weeks back. Um... But, you know, now it's all official and whatnot. I I was uh, going to talk about them then, but I just didn't. And, you know, I can't really use the leaked photos and a little bit of a copyright stuff there. I, I could, but, you know, I don't, don't want to risk anything. But, um, you know, now I can completely show images and whatnot. So, yeah. But... I'm going to start off with the three sets of what were already, you know, officially confirmed with official pictures and whatnot, which, you know, is um, the new AT-80 set, um, and set numbers 75288, um, that's, you know, it's just the AT-80, um, and it's the one, like, uh, from the Empire Strikes Back, so yeah, obviously there's been several AT-80s before, i say the last one was, uh, 2014, I believe. I don't, uh, um, I, I wasn't in, uh, two Lego, so, uh, at that point, obviously I was into it before, and I've only recently gotten back into it in the last few years, um, so, yeah, but, uh, so, I, I didn't have enough money to own any AT-ATs that were released before that, so, never had a Lego AT-AT before, um, uh, yeah, but, um, the, the AT-ATs, I'd probably say it's my favorite wa uh, walker in this land vehicle in general in Star Wars, so I'm definitely excited for it. But um, it comes with six minifigs, um, Hoth, Luke, General Veers, uh, two AT-AT pilots, and two snowtroopers. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely excited for it. Um, it'll have 1,267 pieces and cost 150 Nine ninety nine US uh, dollars. So yeah, um, and then probably the set everyone's uh, the most excited for the uh, Razor Crest, which its set number is seven five two nine two, which you know is just the uh, ship Mandalorian, uh, you know his ship in the series the Mandalorian. His name is obviously the Razor Crest. So yeah, um, definitely very excited for this one. I would assume it's the one everyone's the absolute most excited for, and definitely the next set I'll talk about too is one uh, a lot of people are excited for also, but um, no, I, then the next one's definitely if you're really into battle packs too, like, but I'm not a battle pack guy, so I'm not as excited for it, but you know, this set, it's a, a unique um, design, at least right now. No other ship in Star Wars it looks like the Razor Crest, but um, yeah. Anyways, it comes with um a few minifigs. Uh, obviously, you know, it comes with the Mandalorian, but it's the same one what came in the uh, ATST set from last year, which you know I, I own. So, and I, I would assume a lot of people own because it's a pretty uh, popular one. But uh, yeah. So you, and that was like the Episode One and Two. Mandalorian, because, you know, in episode 3 through 8, he has the, uh, um, what am I, what am I finding the uh, name? Um, in the, the new suit with the, um, I am completely forgetting the name. Why am I forgetting the name of the, uh, <laughs> the stuff used for it? Um, the, the Beskar, uh, suit, uh, couldn't think of it there for a moment, but, uh, you know, it's not that, so that kind of sucks, and, you know, it just has the black head, so not his, uh, actual face, because, you know, yeah, um, a spoiler, but, uh, and then, you know, it comes with the child, aka Baby Yoda, which is a, that, that's not, like, a full-fledged minifig, but it's a small one, and then, a Grief Karga, and IG-11, and a Scout Trooper, so no, uh, Queel just yet, but, uh, hopefully we get a Queel minifig. At some point, but um, yeah, but it'll uh, have uh 1,023 pieces and cost 100 and 
uh, 29.99 uh, US dollars, uh, and I believe that's uh, exclusive to Amazon and Lego.com. So, not one you can find at uh, regular stores, which is kind of surprising because it's definitely going to be a popular one. But, uh, but it's also one of uh, four sets. What will include a code um, to unlock something? In this case, it's the Razor Crest in Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga. New uh, Lego Star Wars video game. I believe it's coming out October 20th. I'm not full sure on that, but um, yeah, I don't know if the codes are unique or um, what, and if you um can only get the Razor Crest in the game with the code for this set. I'm not sure. Um, we'll obviously find out on October, but or whenever the game comes out. But anyways, the next set is 501st Legion Clone Troopers, so it's set number 75280, which you know, it's kind of a battle pack, but bigger, and has uh, two more minifigs, even though they're just battle droids, but, um, and you know, costs a little bit more than a battle pack, but, um, yeah, well, like I said earlier, I'm, I'm not a big battle pack guy, but, um, you know what? I'll probably end up getting the set anyways, but, uh, you know, a couple of two battle droids, three five of first clone troopers, and one five of first jet, uh, clone trooper. So, uh, and, you know, has a bark speeder and an AT-RT walker. So, yeah, I'm, I'm honestly not the, so, you know, I, I'm not the biggest fan of both of them, so, yeah, but, uh, you know, I, I'm definitely a fan of the, the clones and the 501st Clone Troopers too, so yeah. But um, the set will have 285 pieces and cost $29.99 US dollars. So yeah. Um, anyways, on to uh, sets what we uh, now have full confirmation on. Uh, which first off, there's Anakin's Jedi Interceptor. It's just sun number is 75281. Which, uh, you know, it's just a ship, but uh, Anakin flies at the start of uh, Revenge of the Sith. And, um... I don't know if he flies this exact one, but the one similar to it. I believe they're both yellow, so... Yeah, but, um... I, I, I can't remember. I think that is that, but, uh... Yeah, but, uh... Anyways... You know, it's... Just that ship. So, yeah, I, I'd probably say it's the least anticipated set of the wave. I don't know, I'm just not super excited for it, um... The figures, and it's just an R2-D2, and then Anakin, which I, it's like, reused from the Mustafar set, came out earlier this year, um, except the, um, the head is different, so, yeah, um, but, you know, the set will have 248 pieces and cost $29.99 uh, US dollars, so, yeah, um, but, uh, then, the, um, next set, Honestly, it wouldn't have been another one. Probably wouldn't have been super excited for, but it comes with two minifigs. What I'm very excited for, but uh, that is the ATAT or not the AT, the AAT, um, which is set number uh, seven five two eight three. But it has an Ahsoka minifig from Clone Wars season seven. And more importantly, the uh, Siege of Mandalore arc, because um, it has a different outfit in the uh, other arc. But uh, you know that, and then uh, one of the uh, Ahsoka Clone Troopers. This is what's titled it. Has a Legion number. I, I don't remember what it is, but uh, you know, from the Siege of Mandalore also. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty cool. Obviously, those Clone Troopers, I wouldn't be surprised if we get a Bow Pack in uh, early 2021. I, obviously, they might not, but I, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, but then, you know, it comes with two AT or AAT boundaries. I don't know why I'm saying AAT. AT, AT. But, uh, I'm screwing it all up, but, uh, anyways, um, you know, like the, one of the AAT power droids, uh, says on the pocket that they're just a normal power droid, so, I don't know if that, whatever, if screw up or not, and it's not a big deal, but, um, anyways, the, uh, set, um, have 286 pieces and cost 39.99 US dollars, a little bit pricey, but, you know, with those two mini things, uh, makes it worth it right now. Obviously, if the next wave they end up doing more, uh, Season 7 sets, and, you know, you get that Ahsoka and the, that Clone Trooper, you know, more sets, and kind of, whatever, um, 
Which, that's said, I, it might be one I might wait until then. Because I'm honestly not the biggest fan of the AAT, but... Yeah, um, anyways, the next set is General Grievous' Starfighter, which is set number 75286, which is, you know, just Grievous' Starfighter from Revenge of the, uh, Revenge of the Sith. But, you know, I, I do enjoy the ship, but the minifigs are whatever. The, the Grievous isn't new. I, I, I don't own a Grievous, but still, um, and it's not even really Revenge of the Sith ha accurate. Um, the Obi-Wan, same thing as the Anakin in the, uh, Jedi Interceptor set. It's the one from the Mustafar set. Just a move with a different head. Um, but uh, there's also a um, airborne clone trooper from uh, you know, Obi Wan's uh, clone trooper legion. I don't remember the number. Um, but uh, you know, it's, that one's cool. But obviously, and cooler if it came with like you know. Commander Cody, minifig, phase two of that, but yeah, honestly, this one is definitely the most skippable. It um, has 487 pieces, but costs uh, 79.99 US dollars. So, and has no crazy new minifigs. Um, like if it had a brand new Grievous and like whatnot, it was really cool. I think it'd be a bit more worth it, but yeah. Honestly, I'm just waved. The only ones I'm really not excited for are Griffiths' Starfighter and the uh, Anakin's uh, Jedi Interceptor Starfighter. But, yeah, um, anyways, um, on to the rest of the wave. Uh, next up, there's the Advent Calendar, which I, I don't usually get them, but, yeah, there's uh, some cool thingies, um, like an ugly sweater, Vader, and uh, Podameron, so that's cool. And it also has a code to uh, for Lego Star Skywalker Saga for a character. I would assume it's probably Ugly Sweater Vader. So yeah, but it'll have uh, 311 pieces and costs 39.99. Um, but then there's the Knights of Ren transport ship, um, set number 75284. As the in universe, it's the uh, Knight Buzzard is the uh, ship name. But yeah, it's from. Rise of Skywalker, the only Rise of Skywalker set from this wave, I believe. Um, and so yeah, it it's cool. I, I like it. It's Knights of Ren ship, and you get the uh, last two Knights of Ren uh, minifigs. So finally finish off the Knights of Ren, and it also comes with a uh, Rise of Skywalker Ray too. So uh, yeah, which I, I don't own one of those either. I believe it was only in one other set. I obviously said it's a cheaper one, but it wasn't really one I was like super excited or really into, so yeah, but um also be cool if eventually we get a rain what comes with yellow lightsaber. I believe on the cover of uh, Lego Star Wars the Skywalker socket it has rain for yellow lightsaber, so be cool. And I don't believe we ever really have a yellow lightsaber piece, so yeah, but anyways, it'll have 595 pieces and cost 6999 uh, US dollars. So yeah, and then the uh, next set is the Death Star Final Duel, which is a remake of a uh, 2015 Death Star Final Duel. Which um, you know, is off Dolan, uh Return of the Jedi between Palpatine and Vader versus Luke on the Death Star 2, which, you know, is my all-time favorite Star Wars moment, and I, I love it so much, so, and I, I don't own the 2015 one, because, once again, I wasn't into Lego at that point, um, or currently was, wasn't into Lego, I, like I said earlier, I was into Lego before and after, but, uh, so, you know, I'm, I, I'm very excited to get this set, so, yeah, uh, the Vader in it is cool, it has new, uh, printing on, you know, has arm printing, and, uh, I believe the printing elsewhere is new too. I I don't own any of the newer Vaders, so minifigs, so yeah, but um it also comes with a um Return of Jedi Luke, Palpatine, and then two Imperial Royal Guards. So yeah, and it also comes with another code for like the Star Wars Skywalker Saga. For a character, I don't know which one, maybe the Vader, uh, I'm not really sure, so yeah. And the Palpatine also has new hood with you know without the thingy in the, at the bottom, so, you know, a connector at the bottom, 
that the old ones do, so that's cool. Um, but yeah, the set will uh, have 775 pieces and cost in the honey nine ninety nine. So yeah, I'm definitely very excited for this one. Um, definitely the Vader too. The Vader and uh, the printing is cool. But anyways, the uh, final set is the Resistance ITS Transport, which is set number is seven five two nine three, which is based off a ship in uh at a uh, Galaxy's Edge. So that's cool, and you know, the minifigs are two, um, which shows our uh, Vi Marotti. Uh, originally appeared in the, uh, I believe it was Phasma, the Phasma novel, so that's cool. Uh, you know, obviously, I've seen the character was created for Galaxy's Edge and is put into the novels, but you know, now has a minifig, so that's cool. And then uh, Lieutenant Beck, who's also at Galaxy's Edge, uh, and then an astromech droid, an available uh, GNK power droid, or a gonk droid, so, um, uh, yeah, the, the droid things are whatever, but the other two are pretty cool. And the ship is also a cool, very uh, different looking, so definitely excited for that one. Um, this set and the, the piece count you know, uh, is good too. It's 932 pieces and costs 9999, so that's definitely cool. So yeah, but um, this way, fun. I'm pretty excited for um, most of it. Um, the only sets I'm not really excited for, like I said earlier, are the uh, Anakin's Jedi Interceptor and General Grievous' Starfighter. Um, the AAT, I probably would have been less excited for if it didn't come with the Ahsoka and the uh, Ahsoka Clone Troopers, so... Yeah, but um, right now, I believe on LEGO.com, says all the sets are coming out September 1st. I believe originally they were August, but they might um, have been delayed to September... I'm not fully sure, so I'm just going off of what it says on, you know, the store page on uh, lego.com. So, yeah, um, but, you know, I guess if I rank my excitement from least excited to most excited, it'd probably be, um, Anakin's Jedi Scepter, Andrew Griffith's Starfighter, the Advent Calendar, and, the. And, you know, the, the rest of them, I, I'm excited for all of them, but, uh, honestly, next, I'll probably say the five of first clone troopers, um, then Knights of Ren transport ship, uh, then I'll probably put the AAT, then, uh, Death Star Final Goal, then the Resistance ITS transport, then the ATAT, and then finally the Razor Crest, which I'm very excited for, but, um, yeah, but, you know, like I said, uh, after uh, John Groove is a Starfighter, there, I'm pretty excited for all those sets, so, so um, <laughs> yeah, I would say it's need to make space and money for them, but, uh, yeah, I already have too many LEGO sets, um, and, you yeah, could have uh, invested some of the money elsewhere, but, uh, <laughs> but, yeah, um, I might do a video on my uh, Lego sets and my current collection. Um, I, I still own the stuff I uh, had back in a uh, not currently built and they're in a, a big bin down there on my basement. So I need to sort all through all them. Some of the pieces are probably extremely dirty too. And it's yucky, but. I, I, I do want to go through some of those and build some of the sets I had. I, I didn't have anything crazy. Um, most of the sets I had were a lot of the smaller ones, but uh, I think the biggest one I probably had was... Uh, Count Dooku ship I had. Some of the bigger sets I had were... Oh, it's Star Wars, but uh, yeah. Eh, anyways, I'm rambling on now. Video probably went on a bit longer than I wanted it to, so yeah. But uh, I'm probably gonna do more Lego content and Lego Star Wars content in the future. I did a uh, playthrough of uh, Lego Star Wars Three: The Clone Wars. I'm thinking about maybe doing playthroughs of Lego Star Wars Complete Saga and Lego Star Wars: uh, The Force Awakens before Skywalker Saga comes out. But that's only if I have time. Not really sure, uh, cause you know, 
Star Wars Squadrons, another video game comes out too. Which I'm gonna do that, obviously, and you know, other stuff. But you know, it just all depends. But yeah, man, this one here. I've uh, been Star Wars. You know, catch you guys in the next one.